it over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of jesus we command that door open now 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 be open now in the name of jesus open up peter and peter be open now Tonight is a very serious night. The Lord is opening my eyes in a vision. I'm seeing people standing, but I'm seeing their faces covered. This is what this is what the Lord is showing me. Please, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. The Lord brought us here to build us. You see, when the face of a man is covered in the realm of the spirit, number one, there can never be visibility for such a person. Number two, the doors of favor would be closed over that person. I'm going to minister the power of God and I want you to bring those people out. Those at the overflows can just come to their projector stand. We need to tear off that veil. Hari Sedakatusia. Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Stubata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is 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 affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here. You have integrity, you are walking in grace. But there is a veil over your face there are businessmen there are captains of industry right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the holy spirit burn those veils right now burn those veils right now turn it into a prayer every veil covering the glory of god upon my life it says but thou O lord at a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the holy ghost and it must give way now you came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O Lord, are the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim. Was you praying? Hear me. Except God did not send me. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke, over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I stand by the rod of the prophetic. I declare judgment on strange spirits, judgment on foundation, judgment on yokes of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end.
Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night. Bring them out. The force that will not let you go. This is Koinonia. The force that will not let you go. I stand by the God of heaven. The God of Shashuron that rides upon the wings of the wind. I declare must let you go now. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces familiar spirits that stand to shut doors i'm praying for business people i stand by the unction of jesus and i declare anyone here in business whatever power has refused to let you advance in the name of jesus at the count of three comes under fire one two three go 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 release your destiny release your businesses in the name of jesus christ it says say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go hear me i don't care what it is called blood disease genotype issues recurrent things eating your finances destroying the destiny of your family at the count of three you will shout jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now all kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities are you ready now at the count of three shout that name that is above every other name one two three shout jesus be healed be healed blood condition be healed Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmities. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours. Between now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare, standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life i speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of god let them go now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah 
who is this man come what do you do sir so i was into business but nothing is moving you were into business yes sir i want to pray for you i'm not a prophet of doom this is the house of god i'm looking at you and i'm seeing snakes from head to toe this is what i'm seeing all around you the bible this is the house of god if we cannot solve problems supernaturally we are wasting our time here sir i'm saying it to you in the open by prophecy the same way you are standing here this is the same way you will stand here your life will change in a way that will surprise you i stretch my hand take that grace in the name of jesus let it open you to new dimensions in the name of jesus every legal basis upon which the devil is oppressing you and your business i come by the blood of jesus and i declare it is over right now hallelujah where are you coming from i'm coming from jai here from where jai you believe in jesus yes come. sir your family is about to experience a very strange miracle stand up listen let me tell you this believe me when i tell you people of god there are people who are sent there are people who are sent with an unction and sent with a grace it is not the anointing that is available that blesses you it's the anointing sent to you can i pray for you in the name of jesus christ for you and for your family members right now every power that will not let you go here in the house of god i declare by the spirit of god a new chapter opens for your family now a new chapter opens for your family now hallelujah my friend under the anointing the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous therefore i speak to you everything that has stolen away your joy and your testimony as a family i command it to let you go now in the name of jesus let me pray miscarriage i want to pray don't worry i'll pray for you wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name something is coming on your wife it's over now now two of you over now i'm seeing a spirit that is back of her miscarriage i challenge you by the god of heaven let her go now let me pray for you father i stretch my hands ah i'm seeing fire leaving my hands and just coming on you everything that will not let you be fruitful is a command whatever will want you to disobey that command i open up your wounds in the name of jesus and according to the time of life i decree and declare return with your miracle children regardless the medical report we stand by the god of heaven and we declare oppression in the area of fruitfulness come to end now in the name of jesus christ Your life will never be the same. My life must change. I will never be the same. I got your grace. Your life must change. That's why you're here. Your life must change. Your life. 
We believe in you. We believe in your grace. We believe in your power. This is Mount Zion. The city of our God, the dwelling place of his power. I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and cry for a visitation tonight. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Don't look around. Forget about who is by your left and right. Cry to the God of our salvation. Give me an encounter tonight in the name of Jesus. For everyone that asked, receive it. Are you praying? Everyone that asked them, receive it. Pray, you're enlarging your capacity to receive it. You will never be the same. This is a house of God. You will never be the same. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. But the Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction and there is a chain of darkness holding you at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus inside and outside. I want you to bring them here in the name that is above all names This is Mount Zion and the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus I break chains I break chains Bring them out I break chains Every chain That will not let you move forward Every chain That holds you down It must leave you now In the name of Jesus the Christ of God Bring them out 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you has been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar pateke barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head release that family all of them release that family not just one person release that family this is a whole family on that bondage release them release them release them now release them now father mother siblings release them in the name of jesus i'm seeing a family no one gives birth fruitfulness is a challenge the lord is releasing that family right now in the name of jesus christ this is koinonia every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be another is taking your place i command that spirit to give way right now in the name of jesus i command that spirit to give way in the name of jesus this change that i see on people's feet it's time to release them right now you've been at the same position for many years the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing more is growing in the name of jesus i take authority over it i take authority over it hallelujah madam i don't know who this woman is yes that one with her hand on her head madam look at me i'm seeing oil being poured on your head and the lord is saying a major breakthrough is coming to your family that things will never be the same you don't have to bring her out hear me anyone that digs a pit for you here i declare the earth will open and swallow them The Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the spirit, I open up every closed door right now and in the name of Jesus we release you to prophetic dimensions move to the next levels of your life next levels of your destinies in the name of Jesus Christ ah. 
one more time whatever will not let you go i call on my god who is also your god may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of the way every obstacle that will not let you advance i call on my god to clear them out of your way For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is caused i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Why not are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you S S that made you A S that gave you hepatitis Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. If God be God, everything that you are carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priest, priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim 
of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of Jesus I command freedom I command liberty I command freedom I command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ he said the earth is caused for your sake it says with the sweat of your brows shall you eat but the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 he says and if ye be Christ's then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise I want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as I pray and right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them please. be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of Jesus I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ 